Hello and welcome to another video where so today we are going to be checking out a hybrid Bloodcraft deck. We are so close to the next expansion, we're just kind of going over whatever I think might be interesting before we kind of finish things out for this expansion. But hybrid Bloodcraft, pretty standard, pretty decent. If you're looking for a last push, definitely can give this deck a solid recommendation. So we're going to get right into it and take a look. Alright, kicking us off here, we're playing against Shadow. A pretty solid early game. Time to get started. Mother, father, come on. So Mecha and the Angel isn't a bad option. Plus double hoverbird mercenary. All really good for early blood plays, since they do give us a nice draw and they do set up well. So hoverboard it is. Our opponent played nothing, so that's a, a really good opportunity to just drop it to the board. And then of course, throwing out Unleashed Nightmare. Minnow the Crafty Reaper, not going to be a fun card to have to deal with, but should be fine. Since it does generate more shadows, which leads me towards thinking they're probably going to be a Hades Shadow deck. It's definitely not my favourable matchup, that's for sure. And now we have to be able to take out everything here. Luckily for us, Techno Lord should be able to do the job pretty well, removing everything from the board without too much trouble. But I did decide to forego that and set up the snakes instead. Snakes just had some better value overall. I think that actually did work out fairly well, considering. So now we're pretty set up as far as things go with a, another Gear Snake and an Armored Bat coming down. Trying to get that really nice mono set up for next turn. I probably should have traded the 1-1 there. Might have been a bit better value. But I did decide to, of course, just hold on to it, see how it goes, work from there. So the Phantasmal Claw and the Death definitely, definitely leads me to think that it is a, a decent, decent-ish Shadow deck running pretty good cards. Luckily for us, though, this Alpha Drive is going to be pretty nuts, and that's 12 damage and a concede from the opponent, so... I can't complain about how that ends. Now hitting us up for the next match is Blood vs Blood. Time to get started. What's the matter? Petrified already? So we've got a okay starting hand actually. Armored Bat and Gear Snake are nice. Destructive Detective is a little awkward, not a bad card necessarily, but since I am going up against Blood, I do aim for something a little quicker. since I do want a nice turn 2 play, which we end up drawing pretty well. So it didn't matter too much if I had kept that. Well, we drew Destructive Succubus anyway, which honestly, at this current stage, is pretty decent for our hand. And we set ourselves up pretty well. We've got a nice good setup for a potential Gear Snake next turn if we decide to take that option. Plus, we can pretty much generate as many followers as we want. So, I, I did decide to, of course, favor the Hellblaze Demon. Since Hellblaze Demon getting a full board on it is really important. And that probably wasn't the best way to do things, but it worked out. Demon Song's the card they chose, so I didn't really lose too much here with the 3-3. Didn't get an Evo, so pretty happy. And we can pretty much, yeah, follow up with gear. 
wipe it out and flood the board even more, setting up for a mono as soon as we can. Which is pretty decent overall, I gotta say. That went more... went better than I could have expected. This 5-5 five five though is a little awkward for us to deal with, and now that we have to hit them at least five times, basically, or four times, sorry. It's not gonna be the easiest thing in the world. So I did decide to favor the assembly droid Evo this time. Plus we have got Mono set up for next turn, so as long as we can maintain at least one of these followers, we do have potential for lethal. Clamor to bring it though, crushing my hopes and dreams. But a pretty decent top deck to make up for it. So we can remove the Calamity and set up some Mecha Wing, getting a couple more followers to the board for Mono potentially to win us the game with. At this point, it's just a matter of sticking anything to the board. Although, I could have... I could definitely go for the Destructive Suck this next turn. Which would definitely win us the game. If we could definitely get Destructive Suck this into a Destructive Suck this play. Although, we will be just short, actually, unless we go Destructive Suck this into Mono. Since we're not in Vengeance, I couldn't play Calamity. So I took this chance, if they can't deal 6 damage, we can pretty much win. And things look pretty promising considering our bat is on board, which means they do have to remove all of it. And that's gonna do it, the mono will finish the game, we could also finish with destructive, either one would have been a good option here to just win. And Obviously they can see when they see the mono hit the board. So I might miss these kind of blood decks come the next expansion if there's a lot that's come out of it. I don't think there will be though. I think a lot of these cards will probably stick around. There might be one or two maybe that changes. I can't really tell just by looking at it right now. I'd have to look at the uh, cards from the prior sets. But I don't think anything really is being removed that's crucial to the deck necessarily. So. It should probably stick around at least the next expansion. So hopefully you guys can enjoy the deck. You'll find the deck list in the description below. Be sure to like button and subscribe for more content. Until next time guys, see ya.